pay attention to the bell, bringing your body, mind to a resting position. If it helps, you may close your eyes. As the sound of the gong disappears, allow yourself to sit and rest in your awareness. Scanning your body will be a useful tool in the beginning of our meditation. I'll begin with our eyes. These muscles surrounding your eyes and begin to rest. So your eyes may be gently closed. Now, the other parts of your face, you relax. Letting the muscles be, allowing things to be. In the back of your head, <clears throat> the top of your head and your forehead. All these muscles, not too tight, not too loose. In your upper back, relaxing the muscles, releasing any tension, any tightness there. And your shoulders and take a deep breath in, bringing your shoulders all the way up. And as you breathe out, you may drop your shoulders. And please do so three, four times. By doing so, you transcend fear and anxiety, worries and troubles, arriving at the present moment awareness, letting go of the past, letting go of the future that is yet to come. The past cannot be edited. All we have is this present moment. In other words, when you think about the past, you think of it now. 
When you think of the future, you think of it now. So to make this moment a delightful moment, let us continue relaxing our bodies. Sometimes switching to breathing, sometimes relaxing, switching to relaxing our bodies, sometimes to adjusting our postures or coughing or doing anything mindfully to gather our mind and arrive at home Our home is calling us. Instead of holding on to things, you let go. Noting, notice any emotions arising. <clears throat> notice also their vanishing. Things that you can only see with your eyes closed. So relax the, the upper back, mid back and lower back, bringing your body to an upright position if you can. If it hurts there, mentally you may give some love, loving kindness, caring to that part of your body. Notice the position of your shoulders that assists, aids the balance of your body. Your elbows and your wrists, then your palms, and the way you have positioned your hands, fingers may be gently touching each hand, and sometimes your thumbs gently touching each other in their tips. Notice if you can arrive at the rhythm of your breath sooner and notice it. <clears throat> your lungs filling with air and shrinking. And there is this pattern that you can observe. So your lower and upper bodies beginning to understand that you are coming to a resting place. In doing so, you take the controller away. If your eyes are closed, or even if your eyes are gently placed downwardly, Sense of sight may disappear. 
So no signals go on to seeing from your brain and your nervous system begin to cool down. Same with hearing. Things come and go. There's no need to investigate. So that part also cools down. You are completely safe here. Sense of smelling turns off. Nothing to investigate there too. And sense of tasting, there is nothing to taste. And that too is turned off. And sense of physical contacts with the ground beneath. Allow yourself to be deeply rooted. Deeply, deeply rooted to this ground. The floor beneath and how it connects with the with the earth. And the enormity of this earth holding us, holding everything. When all these layers, seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting, physical sensations are turned off in a way, you are less and less active, investigating, examining, labeling, wanting, craving things or clinging to things. Your mind also begins to rest, so thinking slows down. So you are unplugged from sights, sounds, smells, stuff that you taste and stuff that you feel and your thoughts. You, you arrive at home, beginner's mind. And see what comes to your attention now. Perhaps your in breath and out breath. Now you are conscious on. The movements of your 
upper body, shoulders with your breath. See if you can notice the starting point of your breath and the ending point of your breath. And see the sense of touch in your nostrils as you inhale and exhale. And this breath is happening now, not in the past, not in the future. So let us stay present with your breath. as much as possible. When you feel distracted, you can stay alert to catch it sooner <clears throat> and, come, and come back to your breathing. Make it a delightful experience by observing long breath, sometimes very short breath going in or coming out. In doing that, if you have to change your posture, you do so. You are not in prison or a locked up position. You apply mindfulness to changing your posture. And when you have finished that job, you come back to your breathing. So there is uninterrupted mindfulness in changing your posture or coming to your breath. Mindfully and with full of presence with your breath, you breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Mentally say, breathe in. Breathe out.
So whenever you feel like coming out of your meditation, feel free to open your eyes and stretch. We have arrived at our destination. <laughs> As I said earlier, fasten your seatbelts. <laughs> <clears throat> And this will be a good time to also discuss any questions that you have. Yeah. That happens, yeah. That is the way things are. The our mind. What, what did you say? Yeah, yeah. Why are you there again? Yeah, yeah, it's right. Um, in my meditation, I came to a place where I had no thoughts at all. I was so peaceful that way. And the moment when a thought can arise, um, I saw how um, craving arise in my mind that I wish that thought didn't arise. It, mm -hmm. A form of craving, wanting to control that situation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and all the noises uh, didn't bother me. I did know, I, I knew that the neighbor's kids came out of their house and they were going somewhere, but there was no need to do anything with it. Yeah, exactly. If our mind was in an agitated state, I think we would react to that or anything small or big sometimes. That's not us this morning, so it's us. Big achievement for us. <laughs> That's what meditation does. <clears throat> um, I also find when I'm in the space that I'm finding most comforting that like there's almost a tangibleness in what's like right here. Mm. Like that's where I want to be. Mm. I, I can't describe the right word, but it's like. Like when I get back in, like, oh, I mm. To this this space here. I mean, yeah, peace house, inner. inner space. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like coming home. I think I began the meditation saying, home is calling us. <clears throat> and... Uh, like these children playing out and parents call, you know, come home, you know, dinner is ready. <laughs> um, our mind 
of course, wanders and it knows coming home is also good for, for us. And because of our busyness, you know, all this stuff, it's school, it's work, families, life. We are never home. So. Yeah, I do. I do too. Like some days my meditations tell me that, oh yeah, finally you're back home. <laughs> um, so it's, it's very uh, comforting. Yeah. Healing too. In, so I did this midday meditation yesterday here in that I said um, something that helped me in a previous um, hypnosis session which I did in um, Indonesia with a friend who is a hypnosis. And um, she brought me to this child of me in the past where I had no responsibilities, no schedules, no com you know commitments, no work. And that was so comforting, like this, um, <clears throat> this space here. And she asked me to bring it back to the present and give a hug and say, you know, start from there again. <laughs> um, and I did that yesterday in our medita midday meditation. And it always feels good to do that. Oh. Yes, really. It's also a home. It is there when you need it. So I think beyond that brokenness or cracks and woundedness, there is that un that safe child before we went through any trauma, fear, anxiety, learned stuff that we put ourselves through and and, and we can smile again, we can invite that child back to our home again. And there is that safety again. So I find it very comforting every time I do that. So um, anything that you want to bring to Maybe a discussion in a question form or comment form, anything that struck your mind when we when I was guiding the meditation or something I often don't hear of the body scan for relaxation of the muscles uh Yeah. Yeah, yesterday also someone um, said tell more about the relax relaxation step and it brought me straight to the Pali word that is called Pasambhati. So the Buddha says, Pasambhayang Kaya Sankara. Kaya Sankara is the bodily formations. That is our in-breath and out-breath because the body does it without us having to think about it. And relaxing that is so comforting and so beautiful, especially in the beginning of a meditation, intentionally doing it to move away from any agitations and also mental worries and troubles. Um, so that relaxing also includes our brain relaxing, whole um, stuff happening there because of all the stimuli that are happening without us wanting it or you know, not. So anyway, 
that relaxing, I think, paves the way for us to deeper relaxation. You know that we're all just part of this. This um, this earth that holds everything. Yeah, yeah. So um, I I began with like being deeply rooted, and then allowing the earth to hold everything, us, this building, everything else. So we put down the weight of us having to carry things. So, yeah. And also taking the control away, because we always have the need of controlling, wanting things to be this way or that way. There's no need to. Sometimes we can just let things be. So, I think the earth does that. People spit on it. People throw trash. <laughs> and uh, it's not bothered. Mm. And the Buddha uses that as a simile sometimes, uh, remind, uh, reminding monks to be like the earth. Just take it. <laughs> it's like you're stronger than that. Yeah. You're more solid than that. Yeah. Find that solidness and stay connected. It's also our home, right? <laughs> but that reminds me of that dusting, like you are dust and you return to dust. <laughs> <laughs> 
Wednesday when you did that. I was because it was Ash Wednesday the other day. Yes, and, right. Yeah, and I got the ashes. I'm not even Catholic. <laughs> Um, you can do that at Harvard Divinity School. Right. Go into the line. We, we, we do it. Yeah. They do it within the chapel at the school, and um, yeah, not in a Catholic church. Just a, and and that's exactly where he went to to that when when we were yeah. Well, my friend has a joke about it. Uh, not I don't mean to j joke about this. Beautiful concepts too, but yeah, I want to bring that because <laughs> I have to be careful. She says, uh, you know, people return to dust, and uh, she doesn't want to dust her home because this may be someone <laughs> <laughs> who returned to dust. Really good excuse. <laughs> anyway, that may be a good place to stop. Um, so let's let's share merits. If um, if you want to join me, uh, maybe with your palms together. May the suffering ones be suffering free and fear struck fearless be. May the grieving shed all grief, and may all beings find relief. May all beings share this merit that we have thus acquired for the acquisition of all kinds of happiness. May beings inhabiting space and earth, devas and nagas of mighty power share this merit of ours. May they long protect us, protect the teachings and goodness in the universe. Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu.